channel. Oh, today it's all about the Zamboni and what it's like to be a real ice man or woman. I'm Mike, the channel's Downy Live. Let's get it started. It's 5.21 in the morning. Get started dirty. That didn't even make sense. Let's start. Welcome to the city of Delta. This is Tilbury Ice, and not only are we here to see Canada's most iconic vehicle, the Zamboni, and see how it works, we're also here to see what a real ice man does to make our ice so nice. Tom starts his workday at 6 a.m. by doing a safety check on all the equipment. Before he enters what's known as the refrigeration room, he checks the ice surface temperature, air temperature, and humidity of the arena. But most importantly, he checks the air quality for ammonia, which is a chemical used in most ice rinks to make the ice surface. But if there's an ammonia leak, it can be deadly. So it's important to make sure that the level is at zero parts per million in the air. Wow, what a huge system. In here, Tom does the 6 a.m. reading, writing down all of the pressures and temperatures of all the different units, and of course, making sure there's no leaks in any of the machines or pipes. Now, how does it all work? To keep the ice frozen, they pump sub-zero temperature brine, essentially salt water, through pipes under the ice surface to keep the temperature at freezing levels. Or more simply put, keep the ice frozen. Now, all the pumps and machines in the refrigeration room keep that brine cold and flowing under the ice. Now above the pipes is a layer of sand. On top of that, a layer of ice, then the painted lines, and finally, another layer of ice that you skate on. So the Zamboni is the most recognizable piece of equipment that an ice maker uses. We see it after hockey games, after figure skating, after public skate, whatever it might be, they go on there and the Zamboni does the brunt of the job of the ice clean. But there's a few other tools in their toolbox. The other tool they'll use is this little machine that looks like a mini Zamboni. It's an edger. It has eight tiny four-sided razors on a plate that spins to trim the ice. And it can get really close to the boards to make sure there's no lump or edge that you could skate over and trip over. In table hockey, it's good to have high corners because the ball gets <laughs> stuck there and you need it to roll back to the little players. But, but in real ice hockey, you don't want high corners. It's kind of like the Zamboni is the lawnmower and this is the weed whacker that you come in and do around the tree and the little fine edges. You can see the difference. The branding on Zamboni is so iconic that even on a little thing like this, you can instantly recognize it as being Zamboni. And whatever is left from the Zamboni edger gets chipped away with a spud knife, which is made from leftover Zamboni blades. And that's... Gone. You got the whole rink to do. <laughs> <laughs> now the Zamboni itself was designed by an inventor in California. They do make a whole bunch of them in Brantford, Ontario now as well. Maybe surprisingly, to Canadians anyways, only about 12,000 have ever been made in the world. Although if, I'm sure if you're in any other country in the world, you'd go, wow, I'm surprised there were even 12,000 Zambonis made. But to Canadians, we, we just think they're everywhere. Now before the Zamboni was invented, it used to take four or five people about an hour to clean an ice surface. So once the Zamboni was invented, it took that time down to 12 minutes. Tom preps the Zamboni by putting fresh water into the tank. To make the strongest, clearest sheet of ice possible means to not have any air bubbles in the water while you pour it. Now the old school way of doing that and the way that Tom prefers is to use hot water. But the modern way is to use a device called real ice that is essentially a vortex to get rid of the air bubbles. And that's a big part of why this sheet of ice looks so good. Now this Zamboni is electric, which is great for a couple of reasons, means you don't ever have to fill it with gas or do an oil change, it's a little bit easier to maintain. But finally, there are no fumes being released out into the arena here. So since we're in an enclosed space, it's nice to have fresh air. But a Zamboni has no need to go fast at all, so it's limited to a top speed of about eight miles per hour. And to do a full surface cleaning, it'll cover about three quarters of a mile. So because it goes so slow and doesn't actually cover a lot of mileage, it doesn't have an odometer that measures miles, it has an odometer that measures hours that the motor has been running. Just thought that was a fun little tidbit. This Samboni that we have here, it's electric, it's four wheel drive or all wheel drive, studded tires for ultra traction. You're all by yourself out there, just enjoying the clean. Now the way the Zamboni cleans the ice 
is by having a six foot wide giant blade skimming off the top of the rough surface, leaving behind a smooth ice sheet. Now all of those ice shavings get caught up in the horizontal auger, pulled towards the middle of the Zamboni, where it meets the vertical auger, pulled up the chimney and spat out into the snow tank. Now fresh water comes pouring out the back and the towel that lays across the ice surface disperses it evenly, giving you that smooth, clean, hard ice. I have to say, being a Zamboni driver might just be one of the most satisfying jobs you can have. At the start of your job, you've got this messy, snowy, jagged ice surface, and as soon as you roll out there with that Zamboni, you can instantly start seeing the impact you are having with that smooth, wet, fresh ice. Ah, Zamboni. Okay, I'm getting a little too excited. Oh, now, now you feel like a kid again. Oh, this is the equivalent kids want. They want to sit in the front of a train, they want to sit in the front of a fire truck. And Canadians, we want to sit in the front of a Zamboni. Gosh. Put it on your Christmas list. Santa, I've been very good this year. Might be one of the best jobs ever. Woo! Top speed of eight miles per hour. Three, two, one. Getting up to the top speed. Get off the ice. Look out. How did I do, Kelly? Do I get the job? You're, you're, saying, you're hired. <laughs> I'll take it. Now there's a lot more to the Zamboni that Tom and Kelly went into great detail about, but it doesn't really fit the YouTube algorithm here and there's a lot more that I wanna show you about the ice making process. So if you wanna learn more about the Zamboni, right next to the subscribe button down below is the join button. If you click that, $5 membership to the Downey Live channel here it gives you exclusive content, long form, what really goes into this stuff, personal vlogs, all of that, but let's let's get back to the ice making. You refill it and it all starts over again. It all starts over again. It's a tool for the ice man to make the best ice for people who want to skate. It's the coolest place in town. Oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Tom. See you next time, kids. There you go. He's got his fresh sheet of ice right here, and I I've ruined it because I'm skating on it, but I hope you enjoyed that little fun time we had here. I'm Michael, the channel is Downy Live. You can subscribe by clicking on my face right there if you're new here. And if not, well, I don't know where I'm going next, but I know I'm right there with me. Thanks to the city of Delta for hosting us here at Tilbury Ice. See you next Saturday.